Well, good morning. Here I am in New Jersey, and it's opening day. Well, you may have heard by now that New Jersey has experienced an earthquake. Uh, we're not too far from where that earthquake was. There's been some very, very minor damage. And for the most of us that live here in New Jersey, we really haven't received any kind of damages. The worst damage that I have heard about was a water line broke under a road and it basically exploded the road out. And the water line just pretty much squirted right onto a house. And the house had a lot of water damage. But anyway, uh, let's get to fishing. It's opening day here uh, for trout. One of the areas I like to fish is the river. And I'm not really able to fish it because of trout season. And now that opening day has come, I'm sure there may be some fellow anglers down there going out for the trout. I'm running spinners. If you happen to catch a trout, that's great. But there's plenty of walleye, there's plenty of smallmouth. And I'm talking like rooster tails, or panther martins. There's quite a few different types of species there to catch. So now that it's opening day, we're gonna be able to go down there and see if we can't catch a fish or two. So here we are at the river, and my goodness, is it high. You can see where those tree lines are. That's, uh, that's pretty much an area that we've stood before in some of our previous videos. We've caught some good fish in here, but that water is high. That is too far back for me to fish. So we're gonna go back down to another area here. We've had a tremendous amount of rain. We had some snow the other day, <laughs> earthquakes. Monday, we're gonna have an eclipse. So you're getting a good idea of what the timeline is. Here's another spot, wow. We are usually standing right there. Now this is a good spot, but I don't know if we should drop in there. You know, we'll take a, we'll take a walk down. I'm not seeing any fish. Sometimes you can actually see them down there. And you can see we got fast flow. Very fast flow. Very fast flow. We have very fast flow. Yeah, that whole corner area there is where I usually am able to drop down. But yeah, we got we got some high waters here. High, high waters. So I'm not really sure what kind of success we're going to have here with the waters as high as they, as they are. So I brought us over a rooster tail and I also brought us a what they call a trout magnet. And those things are supposedly vicious. I've caught some crappie on those things. The crappie are fun to fish. They're fun to fish. They're not much of a fish though. It took me forever to finally got one. So. If you want to check it out, my first time crappie fishing, I got a video, I'll link that up somewhere up there someplace. And we're about to drop in here, and we're going to see if we can catch a, maybe a trout. They do stock this area. As I said, today's opening day, no one's here. I'm kind of thinking that a lot of people aren't going out. This area is usually looks like this area. I can see where water flow was going pretty fast here. This water's still a little quick. I'm gonna make my way down to the next spot, but this is a very nice access point that I don't recall. Oh, you know what, This I do recall this access point, but unfortunately, everything I used to access is underwater. Let's keep going. So this is quite a walk too, by the way. If you can see behind me, it's a good walk to keep us healthy. Right. Okay, so this is a little flat that I've fished in before, and I'm gonna include a little video here of me standing in this area that I fished. This is about 20 feet back from where I'm normally, I'm normally in that spot easy, and then it goes down quite a bit there. So this is the kind of stuff I'm dealing with going through here. This might be a nice little spot for the fish to kind of like settle down in, not have to deal with those, that really fast water. And this was up even higher than what we're at right now. 
I've uh, taken videos of us on that rock there. Let's start throwing the spinner out and see how that goes. If uh, we don't do too well there, we'll play around with the trap magnet a little bit. I'm really surprised I'm not seeing anybody here. Um, the water is probably just way too quick and fish just aren't biting when people have been here and left. Well, it's been a real challenge. The water is just moving so quickly. I can't keep my rooster tail from like flying down the river. It's barely spinning the spinner at all. It's, I've been throwing it upstream and downstream. Obviously downstream it spins, but it is, the water is moving very quick. I don't know that we'll be catching a fish today. My thought is I'm going to put a trout magnet in with a bobber. This way I can keep my bait suspended so it doesn't get pushed right down to the base or just basically catch the flow and go. And I'll give you an opportunity to see how fast this water is moving. You know, I know just by looking at it, it kind of doesn't look like it's really flying that fast, but it, it is moving, really moving. When I throw it upstream, I can't even crank fast enough to get my, my spinner spinning. If I throw it downstream and bring it back, my spinner's spinning so fast that I just don't know if a fish could catch up to it. Okay, here we go. Trout magnet time. And we're throwing it on our Avenger rod. <laughs> so you're probably thinking, wow, man, you're gonna throw your Avenger rod? And it just happened that I had this trout magnet tied on. So I figured I'd bring it down here. The fishing is not what I had thought it was gonna be. Let's get this thrown out and we'll see what's going on. And I'm gonna give you an opportunity to see how fast that bobber is moving through the water. That's pretty quick. If it goes down, we're gonna have some excitement. <laughs> but I kinda of don't think so. That is really moving fast. That's really, really moving fast. When I first started throwing this, I was like, eh, this isn't going to work out too good. But I got to tell you, I really kind of think this is the way to go. I'm able to kind of control where everything is. I can see the bobber. I know exactly where my bait is. And I can watch it get caught in the current. And it's basically wiggling all around. It's doing plenty of dancing. So I think that's the way to go with this bobber, believe it or not. I didn't think it would be the way to fish this, but it seems to be working pretty well. Well, before I left today, it's the it's the after, late afternoon. Before I left, my wife gave me some specific instructions not to fall in. Well, guess what I just about did? As I was walking in this area, there's a bunch of rocks underneath this high grass. And when you know it, the grass broke free. And down I went. Fortunately for me, I went where there wasn't any water but I fell right through those rocks. I'm glad I didn't get wet. My wife would have been really disappointed in me. I promised her I wouldn't fall in. We're running the bobber with the trout magnet. Haven't gotten any hits yet. I gotta tell you, you know, this little Avenger rod is an ugly stick. It's just got a little tiny, not much of a reel, Shakespeare reel. And as I said, it's an ugly stick. See, it's a, an Avenger rod. I have some pretty expensive rods. I run St. Croix for the most part. I'm gonna tell you, this is not a bad rod. It's really a pretty decent rod. And I'm sure this thing was only like 25 bucks for a kid, but it's fun to throw. I get great casts on it. It doesn't reel in too bad. I mean, it's a little jumpy, but I mean, other than that, it's not a terrible rod for, I think it's cost. I think I'm gonna throw it out there to ugly stick a little bit. You know, I started out with a Shakespeare. My first rod was a Shakespeare as a kid. This would be probably some kid's first rod. You know, with Shakespeare, it's a little, not real expensive. It's an affordable way to get your, get your kids into fishing. I'm loving this little rod. I found it. So it didn't even cost me 25 bucks. Okay, so we're making our way back and I, I see someone's parked by our truck and, Probably a ranger. 
I just have a weird feeling. I have been bumping into the Rangers like crazy. Like crazy. I don't know if they're just attracted to me or I'm the only one fishing. We may drop in at that rock spot, but no catches. The water's just moving too quick. Maybe you'll see a conflict here. I don't know. Guy got dropped off and uh, yeah, so he's going to try to do a little fishing here. Okay, when you get greeted at a fishing area with two guys with machetes, it's time to leave. And I think the water's really moving way too fast anyway. Uh, yeah, these both these guys have, uh, uh, they're cutting down uh, areas where they can get the, to fishing a little better. But, but I mean, uh, yeah, with machetes. So uh, yeah, I don't want to be the next a statistic. So I'm going to move on out of here. You know, it's, I think the water's really just moving way, way too fast. I did have a conversation with the guy. I'd rather, you know, put myself out there and just be like, uh, rather than be kind of like quiet, you know what I mean? Kind of put human, a human element to it. Yeah, I was going to fish down, uh, but I got him down there chopping a bunch of wood. And I just think today is not the day. Water's just way, way too high, moving very quick. Temperatures aren't great either. It's kind of chilly. And I just think that maybe you know, everything it could be is not. Now that I got two guys here swinging machetes, I think uh, I think it might be a uh, time to uh, time to head on out of here. It is what it is. It is what it is. These guys say they're local, local enough to bring their choppers. Opening day. No luck for us today. But as I said, I think conditions are bad. Conditions are not the best they could be. All right. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching. We're back at the Jeep. Let's get everything put away. And uh, we didn't get killed on this one, so that's always good too. I talked to a few of my other friends that are fishermen uh, that do some trout fishing, and they were really all kind of saying that today just wasn't all that great. Just a little too cold, waters are way too high. I love the area anyway, but they were right. They're right. Everything they said was exactly what I'm dealing with here and beyond. I got two guys here swinging machetes. <laughs> Just goofing around. You know, that's what we do. Okay? I mean, I didn't catch any fish, but it's always a great time to maybe stop by and grab a cup of coffee. It's nice and chilly. Didn't turn out the way we hoped. Always been to catch some fish. Next stop, if you guys are watching this video and I put it right out, I'd love for you guys to be able to check out how things go on Monday, the April 8th. We're going to be fishing off the boat and we're going to fish the solar eclipse. I want to see if that solar eclipse has any kind of effect on the fish. Now, it's been cold. It has been cold, and I just don't know if the fish are really going to be biting anyway. Will that eclipse change the way the fish are thinking? You know, because basically we're getting we're getting a dawn, a dusk, another dawn, and then a dusk. Will it change the way the fish are biting? Well, that's what we're going to find out. We're going to bring out the javelin. Not sure if we're going to go to, to maybe Spruce Run or Lake Apacon. We should have a lot of fun. And we're bringing Dad. Dad's here from South Carolina. So that should be fun too. All right, guys. Again, I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, don't get chopped with a machete. Uh -uh. All right. Let's go get a cup of coffee. I'm, I'm checking to make sure they're not looking in the car.